Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to find the distance from x1, y1, z1 to x2, y2, z2. Okay, now to my left here we have a diagram and on this diagram we have a right angle triangle on the plane z equals zero. This right angle triangle has lengths lambda, mu and distance. This distance which is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle on the plane z equals zero is d and it's a small d. Now what you also need to know about this diagram is that the small d which is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle on the plane z equals zero is the adjacent side of another right angle triangle sticking out of the plane z equals zero. Now the adjacent side of this right angle triangle has a length small d. It also has a width beta and it has a hypotenuse distance which is a big D. Now it's this big D, it's the length of this big D uh, that we're looking for. So let's begin finding it. Okay, by looking at the diagram we can say that lambda squared plus mu squared equals small d squared. Now lambda, the length lambda is actually x2 minus x1 and the length mu is y2 minus y1. Therefore d squared equals x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, by looking at the diagram, we can also see that small d squared plus beta squared equals big D squared. Right? But small d squared is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So we're left with x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus beta squared equals d squared. But looking at the diagram, we can see that beta equals z2 minus z1. Therefore, big D squared equals x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus z2 minus z1 squared. And if we rearrange this equation, we get d equals root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared plus z2 minus z1 squared. And this is the distance formula that you can use in three dimensions if you're finding the distance from x1, y1, z1 to x2, y2, z2. This is the equation you can use to get the distance between these two points.